up guys, Dustin you here, back with the Winnipeg Jets GM mode. We're at the draft, last time we got eliminated in the final game of the season. We, were, we had a playoff spot, we were in the wild card, we lost to Colorado 2-0, and uh, we didn't make the playoffs, so we're at the draft, we're just going to get into it. I'm going to try and do as much as we can in the offseason here, maybe, uh, trading block, because it probably upgraded it. Um... Uh, okay, that tried to back out just to the other part of it, but sure. Trading block, there we go. Add a trade block. Remove McNiffin is an 83 now. Oof. All right, rid of that, rid of that. Surplus. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't like... Actually, that's something I gotta maybe mention to the uh, the GM guys. I hate how it just automatically switches your um, trading block, and then guys like lose or gain morale because of it. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, some of the some of the things that we talked about at the Game Changers event was actually pretty cool. So um, I'm extremely excited for the future of where they're going with the stuff, but. Obviously, I can't tell you. Oh, it sucks. Uh, <laughs> all right, start draft. All right. Where are we? Did we trade our first? Uh, looks like we did. Okay. Same options, same teaser pick. I feel like we don't have a pick to, like, the third round, possibly. Third round. I'm thinking. That's my guess. Third round? Second round. Okay. Second round, pick 13. All right, let's see what we can find here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. All right, projection. Might still be, I don't know, never mind. I was hoping there'd be like a first slash second rounder here. Um, is there any goalies? No, nothing till third round, eh? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see, what can we use? I think we can pretty much use anything at this point. Offensive defenseman, bottom 6'4", bottom 6'4", 7th, D-man, Barker, Sniper. Yeah, sure, let's take a chance. Try this guy out. Top 9 forward, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, such is life. Um, so my plan, I think, is just to record a bunch of Winnipeg Jets GM modes and possibly start a new GM mode soon. Um... I don't know. I'm sure you guys have been losing interest. Like, views have been down, way down on uh, well, most of the NHL 16 stuff. I mean, I haven't made a lot of videos li recently, but... Um, oh, is that a goalie? Yeah, hell, let's give her a shot. Why not? Um, fringe starter. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe if I start a new GM mode that um, we can get back on track. I just... I don't know. I like this one, and then there was a, there was a point where I just didn't have time to make them. And I still don't really have that much time, but um, it was just kind of like, I kind of almost lost interest in it because I wasn't doing it, like, more often. So, uh, top 9 forward. Ooh, top 6 D, man. Ooh, two of them, eh? Erickson or Telgvist. It's top 9 forward, sniper. Uh, let's just look at this guy really fast. 80, 69, 72, Shodan. Yeah, let's take, I'm thinking maybe the Sniper. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I might do another vote. Ooh, this guy looks good. 80 speed. Yeah, we'll take this guy, Erickson. Hopefully he's good. Yeah, top four. Nice, medium top four. That's actually pretty solid. Nice, okay. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to do a vote or if I should just pick one. I kind of just want to do the Detroit Red Wings, but I don't know. Um, I'm not really positive about what I want to do exactly. But for me, I think I kind of want to start a GM, um, lock the trades off, like turn off trading, and then sim to the current date and then start at that day. Um, and then let's pick the seventh guy, I guess. Um, and then start from this like specific day. HL top tier you serial. And, um, that way all the rosters are current and nothing, nobody gets traded right away. And then kind of see how the season plays out. 
Let's move to the next current pick. Um, I think that for me that would be like the most interesting to do. See where we're sitting, and then go from there. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I can't like I haven't done Detroit since my first GM mode in like NHL 12, so it's been quite a while. <laughs> Uh, another 7th and D-Man. Uh, is there any more exact? Bottom 6 forward. Exact top 6. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with the... Let's go with the 7th D, I guess. Berg 4. 7th D-Man, alright. Works for me. Works for me. Or maybe not Detroit, but like, um, I don't know, like a rebuilding team. Like even even do I? I th actually, I think I think Two BC is doing Buffalo, but uh, some other kind of like lower end team right now. I don't want to do Edmonton because I don't know. I I kind of did a stream Edmonton, and they're like, we did so good in the first year, even though all I did was get a new goalie, pretty much. And I was like, well, that's, that's something else. So. I'm not entirely positive. NHL top six forward. Yeah, sure, why not? Kristanovic. Sweet. All right, there it is. Sim teaser pick. I think that should be the end of the draft. But uh, like an Arizona, I actually wouldn't mind doing Carolina. Carolina would be a fun team to do. Um, I know Flopfish did Carolina. I don't know if he's still doing it or not. I haven't. I know he he had a concussion or something, so he hasn't really done a whole lot recently. But uh, resign phase. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop talking about that. I'm going to quickly do the resign phase and then uh, come back right after. And, yeah, I'll try and quickly do that. I'll just kind of go over some big signings. Maybe it looks like we need uh, Connor Hellebuck. Um, yeah, then we'll do free agency. Be right back. All right, so I'll just do a quick overview of what we did. So we signed Blake Wheeler to a $5.8 million a year, $6 million deal. Uh, Jacob Trouba was 4.825 for two years. Tyler Myers was 4.55 for three years. Um, I believe we got Shifley 3.175 for four years. Yeah, four years. Uh, Malgan we got for two years. Um, Cosmichuk we got. And uh, the only other big one was Hellebuck, who got 4.1 million for four years, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was about it. So we're at the free agency, uh, phase, I guess. Um, free agency phase. All right, let's, let's just, let's just take a peek in here. I don't know. Ooh, Logan Couture. Nice. Uh, yeah, there's nobody really crazy in here to really warrant trying to get, I don't think. Uh, we'd have to go to RFAs anyways. How do we... UFAs, sorry, UFAs, not RFAs. UFAs. Um, Thomas Yurko. We already have, I think we have enough forwards, to be honest, though. Um, if anything, we want to look at, like, young, young guys. Hmm. Who the heck is... Where the heck is Potential. Did I, did I miss it? Hold on. I must have missed it. I don't know what I did there. Oh! Did I say potential? What was I looking for? Holy crap. I just had a brain, a huge brain fart there. I was totally like, what, what am I looking for? Um, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Anyways. Uh, oh. Top 6 forward. Top 4D. Yeah, there's not really, not really anything worth trying to get. Okay, so I'm not worried about it. There's this guy. Seagull. Is like Ron Siegel, power forward, first round, Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, screw it. I'm not worried about it. I, I think we're okay, to be honest. I think we got a good, solid team still. We pretty much could have made the playoffs last year. I kind of just want to see how we progress in the offseason. So I'm going to sim to the next season. Uh, we'll kind of set up the lines really fast, and then I'll show you guys lines. And then we'll do the preseason. Here we go. All right, so here is our preseason lineup. we got Nick Ehlers, Kuznetsov, Wheeler, Roslevic, Malgin, Watson, Ladd, Shifley, Connor, uh, Lowry, Jimmy Lodge, and Cosma Chuck. I don't know why I just said Jimmy Lodge for some reason. Defense, we got Morrissey and Myers, Yandel, Truba, Stewart, and uh, Luke Green, who's been coming up. He's uh, high top four right now, which is good. Um, the only thing I'm running into issue right now is that we got Hellebuck, who's an 86, 
Comrie's who who's also an eighty uh, an eighty five. Sorry, not eighty six. Um, and then uh, we got some good guys in the AHL, but the big issue is that um, <laughs> Michael McNiven, who's a high elite goalie, twenty two years old, is an eighty five already. So he's on the rise. Um, so. As of right now, I'm going to be um, throwing Comrie on the trade block, um, I think is the plan. So we'll put him on the trade block and just kind of see what we can get in return. Um, at the trading block. Yeah, see, like, McNiven's on there right now. We don't want McNiven on there. We want Comrie on there because Comrie's two years older. I mean, heck, we could even throw uh, – let's just go to goalies. Um there we go. I mean, heck, we could even throw Hellebuck on there, but, like, McNiven's going to be sick. So, I don't even know. One of the two. <laughs> They're both starters, right? So, and McNiven's a high elite at 22 years old. So, if anything, actually, we would try and even get rid of Hellebuck. But, I don't know. I don't really want to trade. I, th I think I'm going to go with Comrie right now and just see what happens. Um, it reset my trade stuff again, which is really annoying. Jeez Louise. Uh, that's sure, whatever. Surplus, and we want uh, first rounders. I always just like having draft picks, to be honest. Um, I think, if anything, maybe actually, I'll, I'll look for a D man. Defenseman, maybe a top four. Uh, let's just scroll this back a little bit. Maybe like 27. Put like four stars. Three and a half to four stars. Alright, so we'll try that maybe. Potential, yeah. Fran top six to franchise. We'll just see if we can get any bites on that. But we'll keep Comrie up on there for now. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're ready to start the... Uh, we'll do the preseason here. I had to reset my captains again. Uh, that's something else I got to ask them about, why it resets it. But uh, anyways, yeah. So Lad is captain once again. And then we have... Oh, I got to do scouting as well. Then we have uh, Wheeler and Shifley. So those are our captains and assistants. Treat and improve, scouting, uh, scouting. And we're going to go over here. Start in. Who's got the most players, actually? Uh, I guess we'll start. We'll do three weeks. All right. Do three weeks in the OHL. And calendar there we go okay let's do the preseason here so we'll go up to the sixth i guess see how we do here like i said our team's pretty good if we could get that top four forward that would probably be ideal if uh, someone will bite on Comrie. but i guess we'll have to see um, i mean i like having that younger 21 year old in um even if we had to bump uh stewart out that wouldn't be the end of the world either so i mean <laughs> we've, we've gotten rid of stewart once already so wouldn't be the end of the world to do it again. Another 7-1 win. Wow. We're scoring some goals here. Lost 2-0. All right. No bites on Comrie yet because I'd like to get McNiven up if possible. Uh, okay, cool. All right. So there it is. 4-2. Four, 4-2 two, four two in the preseason. Sorry. 4-2. <laughs> Let's just see how our uh, stats-wise we did because Nets have had 10 points. It's probably not going to happen this season because they slowed down immensely last year. Uh, Ehlers had seven, Kyle Connor had seven, Wheeler had six, Morrissey had six, Ladd had five. Again, it's preseason, so anything can happen. Let's see what happened here. Uh, Comrie was one and two, and Hellebuck went three and oh, so that's pretty solid. All right, so there it is. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna try and pump out a few videos, so maybe do this next year. I mean, what, uh, we're in the 2019 2020 year. So maybe another year or two, then start a new jam mode. But we'll see how far I can get. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.